What is the RSL? The RSL is a group of those who are returned service personnel who formed a group to help others, not only returned veterans, but also those currently serving. It's been going for nearly 100 years and this building here for about 50. This sub-branch here is uh, very consistent with most RSL clubs in Australia. It grew out of the First World War and it also was necessary because the women's guilds provided a lot of support for the returned soldiers and nurses in terms of mental well-being and physical recovery. It's basically a, a group of uh, returned servicemen that got together uh, to look after each other after they'd come back from uh, whatever conflict they'd been involved in. It was quite uh, significant after World War I in, uh, in allowing our diggers to uh, and other service people to integrate back into the community and to look after each other uh, as they went through that process. And again, after World War II, it was a very, very strong organisation that was there to look after the diggers uh, in their integration back into their, uh, their various communities. We're transitioning it so police, ambulance, uh, those from service groups can come here and get support as well. Not only the, the mateship, the spirit of core about how to deal in difficult situations. But basically we're here for the, the members and for their families because we have war widows as well. And that's, uh, that's our prime uh, function. It's gone through some uh, turmoil in the past uh, with some of the more modern conflicts with the Vietnam War and, uh, uh, and some of the uh, conflicts since then in that uh, the old soldiers sometimes aren't as comforting to the younger soldiers uh, and service people as they once were. Um, we're overcoming that. We're actually quite a positive organisation now. Uh, we've been working very, very hard to ensure that we look after the advocacy of our ex-service people and, um, and that we take into account uh, the experiences that they've had during their time. It's like with the World War Ones, the, 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 that with the World War Two. What we do is we have the history there, so that we can honour their memories and the service that they have done. They have introduced a uh, a membership where they've called affiliate membership, where, where anyone, basically anyone, can join the RSL. Uh, they had to do that because of declining numbers of uh, firstly World War One veterans and now World War Two veterans. And of course, the Vietnam veterans were nowhere near as many as, as they were involved in those two wars. So uh, it's, it's up to the Vietnam veterans basically now to keep running the place, uh, running the RSL. If we didn't have the affiliate members, uh, we'd be in big trouble. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at creating a museum uh, that will be able to explain and incorporate uh, the virtual war memorial. Whereby if they wish to find out more about these people in times past, we can show them how to work through the virtual war memorial, memorial and obtain that information so that they are more aware of what their ancestors did. Because if you don't know your history, you can't really know yourself. What is a legacy for the RSL and what would I like is to be able to pass on, not only care for the serving, uh, those who've served and returned and their families, it's also to pass on that spirit to call that legacy of how to get mateship and working together and have that out into the community. Ah, uh, yes, ours have been good. I come here each Friday, all witness functions on, Anzac Day, Long Tan, all those. The camaraderie in this year is good. It's helped me a lot, it's still helped me. But um, without the RSL, I think, well, I wouldn't be as happy as I am. I'm very proud of my service in Vietnam. I know it was, a, it was a war that wasn't very well accepted, but the mates I made through the army as a beautiful, great stuff. Proud veteran, that's what I am. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years in them. But the going down of the sun and of the morning, we will remember. We